Good morning little online learners. Today I am clicking on this button here that says click for Wednesday writing activities to see what I need to do today. So I can see that step number one, I need to create my own imaginary animal and I need to draw it and give it a name. So what I've done already is I've drawn it. The name for my animal is going to be a spiker tail because we see it's got some spikes and it's also got a sharp pointed tail. So I'm gonna write my species name up here. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna have a look at what step two needs. So I need to use at least five body parts from the word bank and then label my drawing. So having a look at some of those words, the first one that I see that stands out is bulging eyes because I can see that this one in particular is a bulging eye for the spiker tail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw an arrow pointing out from my eye so that I can label it. Bulging eyes. Another one that I could see that I could use to describe the spiker tail is big head because we can see that the spiker tail's head is actually the largest part of it. So I'm gonna write big head, and I'm gonna draw an arrow from his head to the description. Another one that I think describes the spiker tail is stumpy legs, because he has really short and wide legs. So I'm gonna write that one below here. Stumpy legs, and here's my arrow connecting it. And let's have a look and see if there's anything else I might use. I think that the spiker tail would also have slimy skin. I'm going to write that one down here as well. You might come up with your own descriptions that aren't in this word bank and you can use those ones as well. So now that I've done step two, I'm gonna have a look at what question three needs me to do. So now I'm gonna have a look at the descriptive words I've used that I've labeled my spiker tail with and I'm gonna write a paragraph about the spiker tail using those describing words. So I might start off with saying that the spiker tail has a big head with bulging eyes. I'm gonna write that over on my other page. Spiker tails have a big head with bulging eyes. What do you think could be another sentence that I could write using some of the descriptive words? I have stumpy legs left and slimy skin. Once I think of some more, I'm going to keep writing and I'm going to continue to describe the spiker tail. Once I've done that, I'm going to have a look at what question four needs me to do. And it says I need to go and describe my imaginary animal to someone at home. Then I'm going to ask them to draw it and see if their drawing is the same as yours. So that means I need to go and find Mrs. Rennick and I need to read my paragraph to her and see if her drawing of it looks the same as what I've done. We can't wait to see your photos of your imaginary animals. I hope they're as ferocious as ours. Good luck, everyone.